an intelligent system for generating and user symptom recommendations based on machine learning technology. On this slide, we can see plan report. The purpose of the study is to develop an intelligent system with the ability to work with the symptoms of user through which one could obtain uh, sufficiently complete information about the choice and purchase of medicines. The object of study is the process of information support for pharmacy customers. The subject of the study is the automation of the process of information support for pharmacy customers and the formation of recommendations for the purchase of symptomatic medicines. Proper use of medicines means delivering the right medication at the right dose and uh, when necessary and avoiding unnecessary medicines or the use of which is unlikely to lead to health benefits. This means choosing the treatment with the best efficiency and safety options from uh, all available alternatives and the least costly equivalent treatment option. This decision requires knowledge of the patient's health, life situation and preference assessed to objective comparative benefit information and adverse effects of all available treatment options. The links between healthcare professionals and the pharmaceutical industry have grown tremendously in the 20 and early 21st century, leading to a call by teachers to create powerful barriers, firewalls to protect the independence of medical academic centers. As a part of large survey conducted in the United States, over 90% of physicians reported relationships with the uh, pharmaceutical industry. Eight out of uh, 10 doctors received gifts usually in the form of free meals at their workplace. Eight out of 10 doctors received free samples of medicines. Four out of 10 doctors were paid for attending conferences and meetings. Three out of 10 doctors were paid consultants in their company lecture team all on the advisor board. One of the most important and socially acute problems in the development of the pharmaceutical market in Ukraine is the problem of pricing medicines. This is due to the fact that in the pharmaceutical sector prices in addition to purely economic content have a significant social role because they determine the ability and level of satisfaction of the need of society and healthcare institution for medicines related to socially imported goods. In this regard, in Ukraine, as many other countries, state control over prices in the pharmaceutical market is exercised. Considering the basic principles of uh, functioning of uh, pharmacies and the principle of pharmacy, it can be concluded that for this institution, it is quite uh, difficult to introduce a system of information exchange about the necessary medicines and their availability in the selection pharmacy for a potential client and even uh, more so a system with the function of forming recommendation on SIM. The latter is only implemented in a few websites such as mobile uh, application. During the course of this qualification work could not be found. Also the problem is often a lack of understanding by the user of the general information about what should or should be uh, contraindicated in his her probable symptoms or the doctor's Diagnosis. Whether there are analogies available at a more affordable price and how effective they are. It should also be noted that it is important for the clients of this uh, institution to read the medication instruction before taking exam. Based on above requirements for pharmacy systems, the following systems have been identified. Geoptaka. The application is a free adaptation to the Android operating system of well-known website, which is 
positioned as a medicine search service in pharmacies in Ukraine. The interface is uh, user-friendly and intuitive. The search for medicines is simple. The input box is noticeable enough in the main window of the program. However, there are some drawbacks to using the program that you can quickly notice. This is especially true of the relatively small database of searchable pharmacies, the inability to view analogies of medicines and importantly the instruction to them. Finding medicines in uh, pharmacies. Like the previous app, the program is free and designed for users from all over Ukraine and contains information on various pharmacies across the country. The disadvantages of the program include uh, the relative complexity of the interface, not always an obvious way to find the desired function in windows of uh, the application. This minus is quite significant and may be critical for some users. Uh, one of the drawbacks is the lack of information about some unpopular pharmacy chains and low project support, which is not often the result of updates. DS Pharmacy Network. The drawback of system that is immediately noticeable to get a potential user who is looking for a medicine search program and want to get as many good pharmacy choices as possible in the limited or use of only one medicine sales network. Along with this drawback is the lack of a research function for possible medicine analogies. Pharmacy 911, the only system found to support the formation of symptomic recommendation, also supports pharmacy medicine search. However, this is not a mobile application but a website, so mobile compatibility is low. And figure 5 depicts uh, the proposed tree of the future design system. Its main purpose is to create an intelligent medicine recommendation system that needs to achieve three goals, namely system design, gathering relevant and data and customer support. System design can be divided in detail into the following sub-goals. Database design, application of modern technologies, writing models, designing the server and client part, their interaction. Uh, the next goal responsible for collecting and accumulating relevant data can be divided into the following two. Collection of uh, data on pharmacies and their networks and collection of data on medicines. The primary goal of customer support is to provide the information system with the utility to meet and work with users' information needs. To achieve these goals, uh, we first build a model in the form of a so-called use case diagram, which describes the functional purpose of the system or in the other words, what the system will do in the course of its operation. Figure 6 presents conceptual model of the developed system. Through this diagram, you can trace the basic function of the future intelligent system as well as the potential of the potential user when working with it. The diagram shown is used to show the relationship between the actor, in our case the user, and the group of uh, use cases. First, when you start it, go to the home screen, that is, uh, the user is in the main menu, and then after selecting the following action, you go to select a screen, go to the screen of the medicine selection, go to search screen, or go to favorite screen. After going to the symptom selection screen, the user is presented with variants of symptoms. Figure 8 shows a general UML diagram of system classes that can easily trace the relationships uh, between the package entire package entity, package DAO, package service, and package controller. The entity package figure 9 contains the model classes that also reflect to the structure of database and therefore its essence. An equally imported package of classes in the developed intellectual system is the DAO package, figure 10, which is responsible for working with the database, transmitting requests and receiving response from it. Another important component of the system is the level of services, figure
figure 11, in which all work is done on the business logic of the system. The deployment diagram contains graphical representation of processors, devices, processes, and links between them. Unlike logical representation diagrams, deployment scheme is unique to the system as whole since it must fully reflect the futures of implementation. In figure 12 shows uh, the deployment diagram for the design software solution. As you can see from the diagram, three devices are required for the system to function fully. A device on the Android mobile platform, a web server, and a database server. The purpose of developing an intelligent symptomatic recommendation formulation system is to create a software product that will enable pharmacy customers in Ukraine to obtain the necessary information about medicines, places of the sale, possible energy list, and to receive recommendation for their purchase. For the purpose of software implementation of the intelligent system, a comparison and selection of already known technological means were carried out and optimal software solution were selected. The most accessible and commonly used operation system on mobile devices is Android OS, an operation system and mobile platform created by Google based or Linux kernel. The development language for both the client and server side of the software solution will be Java programming language. The application will be developed in Android Studio, a free IntelliJ idea based development environment that provides tools for creating and debugging mobile applications on Android devices. For the server side, the server development environment must meet the following requirements. The ability to quickly debug the program and support the code auto-generation future. The most popular Java IDEs are following IntelliJ IDEA and Eclipse. Uh, to develop the system, uh, you need to choose an approach that allows you to independently develop models, which in turn facilitates the improvement of individual pieces of software. The most common template that meets these requirements is MVC, or more precisely, its implementation in the Spring MVC framework, which can significantly reduce the number of lines of code and make it easier to read. The role of database managed system is performed by postgraduate SQL tool. The schema of the remote database is shown in figure 13. The software product has a client server architecture figure 14. The server in this connection is always an abstract service on a reduced network, a vocable HTTP based host. The server and the client communicate in JSON format. In order to to detail the structure of the server part of the intelligent system, figure 15 shows the scheme of interaction of these main software components. Also, for a more detailed understanding of the implementation of the controller level using the IDEA software environment methods in figure 16 is formed part of the scheme of interaction between them. It is also advisable to specify function restriction on the use of the client application. Therefore, in the order for the software to work properly, the user must provide the projected application with the following permission to use internet connection, internet connection information, geographic location data. The server side of the program uses SQL queries to enter and retrieve uh, data from a remote database. The data is then transferred into a format in which the client and server part communicate according to the request and response. In order to demonstrate the compliance of the developed system with the requirements, the result of the creation of an intelligent system in the form of software product are given. As soon as the application is started, the user meets the main window of the product. When you click the button field in the upper corner, of the main program screen, the system transfers the user to the symptom selection page. When all the necessary symptoms are selected, the system displays a drag on 
the recommendation page. After clicking, the user enters the list of recommendation and in case of selecting one of them, the system transmits data about the choice of another medication to the server and adjusts the value of the weights for symptoms and medicines. In the field of farm drugs, there are buttons by which you can respectively find an alex of medical product and the instruction and go to its search in pharmacies. The system search for analogies by searching for drugs with the same basic active substance. After selecting a required drug, the user clicks on the pharmacy search button and the system goes to drugstore search page. By clicking on the pharmacy network logo, the program displays additional information about the selected pharmacy network. Uh, with the two buttons on the special window, you can close the window and go to the Google Maps navigation app built into Android smartphone. This app automatically outlines the user's route and location of the selected drug selling point on the interactive map. Additional functionality of the developed system in the form of local database support can be seen in displaying instruction for user-selected medicines without internet connection. Thank you for attention.